Hello, 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 hello everyone, how is everyone doing? And hello to Holly, who is in my voice call with me again. Hello. Hello. That is me. I already saw quite a few names. I saw a Night Dream, I saw a Dragon Wolf, I saw an Apple, and I saw a Vixie, and I saw a Frog. Thank you guys so much for being here. Hello. Greetings. <laughs> How's everyone doing? How are you doing, Holly? I'm doing all right. Cool. I had a Have nice, weekend? chill weekend. So. Sounds good, sounds good. Yeah, how about you? I had to work yesterday, so I had a very short weekend, but I've been uh, mm. doing some stuff yeah. around the house and waiting for an hour for the stream to start because I'm hyper and nervous. <laughs> I mean, you guys know me, right? And the momo, momo, yay! <laughs> and the mix sticker thicker. Yeah, we're gonna... Frog think. has found the mix sticker thicker. We're gonna feed the kitty cat. Let's see if he yeah. wants to come over. Oh, I can see him. <laughs> come on. Dragon Wolf playing Overwatch. Okay. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa, watch. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Hello, kitty cat. Can you gonna look at the camera? And that's, yep, that's one of the reasons why you don't play competitive. Because it sucks. Because the community sucks. Are you gonna eat? Thanks. He literally was eating my fingers. Cool. <laughs> nice. I'm doing good. I did a few place, placement matches in Overwatch. And out of the 10, there were 8 matches where people were salty and toxic. I mean, fair enough. I mean, One of that's, the reasons that's online play. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a thing. I mean, that's also League, right? And uh, that's why it's called yep. Salt. <laughs> Just wanted to do the placement matches and be done with it. <laughs> I, I've never played Overwatch. I don't. I, it doesn't look appealing to me. Sorry. I have played it. I'm terrible at it, and I quit. <laughs> I will cuddle the taco. Frog was an order. I didn't listen. Did he call you a little cat? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. That is the proper response to someone being annoyed with you. Yeah. Don't listen. <laughs> I mean, I think he was annoyed because she didn't listen, but then not listening even more. Yeah. Ask for tips and then do the exact opposite. That's what women for you, frog. Learn. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Good dudes. Also, oh. Sticker just, he, he just laid down. He's like, this is my food, so I'm going to wait here until you give me... You can me still food. see cat ears and cat butt. There you go. Have a, full, have a full view. Also, frog is angry. <sighs> Poor frog. At least Grabnix has his hammer back. Aren't you happy about that? Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Sticker's getting another treat. And another. Oh, more sticker. More. Two, even two. Come on, guys. He's already quite, quite fat. Quite thick. Quite thick. Yeah. And the thickness. <laughs> the thickening. More treats and another one. There you go. I should put a timer on these. Maybe, yeah. Also, if it's getting too much, I'm going to stop because he already has uh, an, a tendency to vomit everywhere. So I, if I feel that it's too many in one go, I'm either going to wait with them or I'm going to not <laughs> and refund because I don't want him to vomit everywhere because I have to clean that up. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't He doesn't clean that up. No, and he also decides that my bed is the best place and I really don't like that that much. <laughs> of course it's the best place. Yeah, it's nice and soft and uh, very hard to clean yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's perfect. I try to listen, but if I get tips and it's busy, my mind errors. 404. <laughs> Page not found. <laughs> 500 internal server error. Ah, there you go. I, know, I only knew the one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know a, a couple. Yeah. Frog does too, I'm sure. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny. There is an HTTP error like 404 and 500. That is 200, which means that everything is all right. Okay. Error 200. It's okay. <laughs> He's just letting me pet him. He never lets me pet him. He's like, can I get more treats, me? Your, nope. your, your hands are numb. Numb, 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 numb. 
<laughs> Error 418. I'm a teapot. Yes. <laughs> what? That's a real yep. one. Yep. Yeah, my mind is like 20 tabs open, some pop ups, and somewhere something is playing music, but I can't shut it off. Yeah, that's my brain too sometimes. Oh, yeah. It's so cute. Yeah, he's very cute. He's being adorable today. Also, if I pet him long enough, he'll, he'll start being the murder cat we know, so don't worry about it. <laughs> uh... Your brain just short circuits sometimes in like Overwatch. Oh, my brain just short circuits, period. Almost always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, I asked the same thing, Key, if it's a real error. Yeah, I mean, I can see some weird errors being, uh, being made. Error 418 is an April Fool's joke where mm -hmm. it's basically um, they, were, they were making a joke about technology advancing so far that it would be, be robots, basically, where you could, like Samsung, you can tweet from an oven. That's a thing. Yeah. Um, so they made they made a teapot that you could turn on with uh, over the internet, and um, the uh, <laughs> the response that it gave was error four eighteen. I'm a teapot. Cool. You don't want coffee. I'm a teapot. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I like that. Yeah. It's a funny. It's an April Fool's joke, but it's fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Definitely. You guys have a brain. Where can I get one? No, 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 no. We we just pretend. We we are very good at pretending we have one. That's uh, that's the difference. You didn't see them in the closet. I have a couple. I just you don't, don't use them. It's black market stuff. <laughs> it's uh that that's actually a joke I found on TikTok too. <laughs> really? It's uh, almost there. Like <laughs> there, there, <laughs> there's this thing. It's like. Um, I, it's my body. I can do what I want with it. Yeah, but could you just like move it outside? It's my body. I can do with it what I want. <laughs> <laughs> Sell them. You should use them. <laughs> no, no, no. They need to get. They need to get ripened before I can actually. Nobody wants an unripe brain, man. Super, Come on, better stocks. Leave, leave them a couple. <laughs> Leave them a little time and then you get more out of it. Secretly, you're just like harvesting all of the information on there and trying to use them as a supercomputer. Super I, yes. I, I see what you're doing. I got you. <laughs> also, nobody wants a used brain, so I take the information. Yeah. Gross used brain. I mean, we now know how you take information like a recipe. You yeah. eat it. <laughs> Yeah, just eat the recipe. So now you know um, where does the brain go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, I feel terrible for that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It's fucking funny. <laughs> because it's kind of a little and it's horrifying. <laughs> just eat the recipe. Yeah, just eat the recipe. You get all the yeah, all so, the info. Yeah, so if you if you go. Uh, uh, if you go and bake something, make sure to print it out twice, one you can read and one you can eat. Yeah. And if you're smart, you put it through the original recipe and then you can just eat it with the recipe. It's going to be bad the first time, but the second time will be amazing. Well, yeah, but then it's going to be terrible because you had to follow a recipe before eating it. Yeah, exactly. And then you ate it and then it's going to be better every time. So if you would eat my brain, would you just only get horny powers? Yes. We would all be sent to horny jail instantly, just from tiny. Well, we don't, we don't eat the brains. That was my joke, though. Oh. No, no, no. Then you can't sell them anymore. No, but no, you if you want the eat. information that's on the brain, you need to eat it. That was my joke. So well, there's, there's didn't... more ways to get there's more ways to get data out of a brain. Then you can sell it, and then you can use it in a supercomputer. It's 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 it's, it's a very strange business. Let, let's not. <laughs> I don't think okay. it's a good idea. Okay. okay. This will get you on some watch lists. Uh, don't look it up. It's a, it's a fair point. Yes. Also, like the entire conversation has been a little iffy. <laughs> <laughs> 
But hey, there you go. <laughs> Nothing to do about it now. It's on the internet forever. I just want to mention. <laughs> don't actually don't, have brains in my closet. <laughs> don't actually eat brains. I mean, I would prefer you to say that you don't actually have brains in your closet. <laughs> Correct. There you go. <laughs> I can now see you looking at the screen like, but maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. You would like that if I said that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the deep web is scary, to be honest. Yeah, just don't go there, please. Uh, even the surface. Even the surface, yeah. Just go, don't go there, ever. Just. Pretend it's not a thing and let other people deal with it. Because no, it's a scary funny thing. Th the funny thing is that like seventy percent of the internet is deep web. Yes, I know. Just imagine how fucking huge the, the web actually is. I mean, I'm guessing it's not just based on a server somewhere. There's no room. Oh no. <laughs> I don't understand the internet, by the way. Just it's, it's a thing. Well, I can use it. I don't understand it. I don't know. How I think how people it. came for a story stream, so I don't think I should go into it. No, don't. I think just like math. Fill just, the entire stream. Just, just like math. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> the me. web is complicated, not just deep web. True. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't the deep web just everything that's hidden behind authentication like your bank account? A lot of it is. No. A lot of it, though. A lot of it is no. things that are hidden from public eye yeah but that's not behind authentication okay fair enough it's everything that is hidden from everything else yeah um you can't find anything of those types of websites on google the deep web is the shadow of the internet and that doesn't have to be behind a locked door yeah and there's ridiculous stuff on there yes also horrifying stuff. Yes. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I I really like the creepy pastas pertaining to the deep web, but other than that, I'm good. I don't want to know anything about it for real. Just the creepy stories are enough. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yeah, you can't uh, get there without logging in or something like that. No, you you only need. A different yeah. browser, basically. Yeah. You only need a different browser. Lots of browser. technical mumbo jumbo, yes. A lot of technical mumbo jumbo, indeed. But you can get there without logging in to something. You don't have to give anything away. And if you were yeah. to go do that, you better have everything ready to protect your computer because they are going to get there. Um. <laughs> Creepy no, stories comes no, 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 not no, enough. trust me. I'd rather have the deep web stories on creepypastas than my own nightmares. <laughs> I'd rather watch crime shows of like children having been murdered where you don't see the gore, but you know, there's gore than my own nightmares. So yeah, just to clarify, I hate my nightmares, but usually the stories aren't bad enough. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Although I don't like gore, and most people know that by now. I really don't like gore. There's um, there's a certain... I, I get why people would like gore when it's appropriate. Like excessive amount of gore or uh, unnecessary gore. Mm -hmm. I, I don't understand why people like it. Yeah, like, do you mean like horror stories or horror movies? Yeah, horror movies, but if it's correctly done, I guess people like that, and I understand why people would like that. Hi, Phoenix. Hi, Phoenix. But it's just like having an excessive amount of gore or an unreasonable amount, I just don't get it. Yeah, but I don't like gore in general, so if there's a lot to be seen on screen, I will look away. Um, but I don't, like, I, I really like psychological horror and thrillers, um, because it's just interesting to me. 
Yeah. But I don't like a lot of blood or dismemberment or things like that. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You're not late, Felix. We're just chatting so far. We haven't started the story yet. You're not late yep. to anything. Don't worry about it. That's kind of the point. Like, there's 10 minutes of timer and then like half an hour of chatting. <laughs> it happens. It happens. That's <laughs> usually the case. Oh, let's do stretches. So you're not late. Don't worry about it. Pops in a lurk. Awesome. Thank you for the lurk, buddy. Thank you so much. Very much appreciate it. Yes, I stole that line from you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yay, my bestie is like me. Uh, likes the same as me. I do like some jump scare uh, thriller horror. Yeah, I, I don't like jump scares to like specifically. Um, psychological stuff is definitely the, the biggest thing for me. Uh, if I redeem a taco cuddle, can you hold it onto him when you tell the story? I won't hold on to him the entire time, but I definitely cuddle it too long anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Longer than the shark, that's for sure. <laughs> Gordon Mortal Kombat is insane, yeah. Oh my god, guys, I got the message from Twitch. Hey! Nice! Awesome! I'm so happy for you! Congrats, Phoenix. Nice. That's amazing. Well done. You got it. Nice. When is your now next stream? You got a stream? lot more things to think about before, uh, <laughs> uh, before you're actually done with your affili affiliate stuff. Like alerts are now a thing. Your yeah. channel points are a thing. Emotes are going to be a thing. If you need any help, make sure you go into the PDD and ask in the streamer questions because everyone is happy to help you. Special stream is coming. Nice. That's so great. Oh, but I'm I do want to say, like, what I said, there's a lot more things to think about now. However, don't feel obligated to stream. Uh, just like before you get affiliate, you still are just as free to just uh, stream whenever you want. Definitely. Um, so always think of your mental state and your, uh, yeah, your, your capabilities should never falter under your stream schedule. Hmm. Just always make sure that you're in the right mindset. I, I guess. I also, say. you be you. Don't feel obligated to change anything. Just make it the way you want it. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. I'm glad for you. I'm happy you got yeah. to affiliate. Glad we guys could help by being there. Yeah, exactly. Been, lur been lurking a bunch whenever I could, just, just so we had enough viewers. <laughs> Appreciate and awesome. agree. Fair enough. Awesome. Three months. You made it in three months. You've been streaming that uh, that long. Streaming for three months. Dang. That's quick. That is quick. If that's true, yeah. Oh yeah, nice. there you go. Yeah, nice. That's really awesome. Quick. I don't actually know how long it took me. It took me two months. Yeah. I think Frog, it took like one and a half. <laughs> I mean, the but Frog is not on that boy. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Frog has, has so much uh, charisma. He's uh, yeah. very enigmatic. Charisma incarnate. Yeah. Yes, Frog, I'm talking about you. <laughs> Wait, what? It. I knew it. I heard Frog, yes. <laughs> Ribbit. <laughs> it said you're charismatic. You're Don't a worry about it, Felix. <laughs> so sorry. So sorry. What are you sorry about? Oh, that he's leaving. Oh, that's no problem. And have a good day. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Bye. Oh. <laughs> shall we get into the summary? Yes. Yes. Shall is everybody? Everybody. Everybody, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Is everybody ready?
Yes. <laughs> In the previous stream, we started out with Grotnik's perspective, as usual. He and Lanara bicker about anything they can. In this case, it left them gagged. Meanwhile, in the swamp, Maka was getting uh, was getting more tired by the minute. After some investigation, they found uh, find out that she has a leech attached. Surfer shares some of his energy so she can continue the journey. When they finally exit the swamp, Gaius and Emmet are waiting for them, with Lunara and Grotnix in tow. Gaius proposes a trade to David, and to everyone's surprise, he trades Amarilla for their friends. Amarilla is taken by them and knocked unconscious. David tells the others that he has a plan. When Amarilla wakes up and her captors decide to take a break, they fi she, find, uh, she suddenly sees Maka walking around. She grabs Gaius' gun and runs away. That's where we left off. Do you guys remember? I hope so. It's been so long. Also, I really want to note, we've written these two chapters nearly in one evening. It was um It's a very, very fun call. In a wedge, yes. <laughs> <laughs> one and a half chapters was written fully in that one one call. call. Yeah, that was so much fun. We had the best time. That was a lot of fun, yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sick. So shall we get into it? I will click open my menus. Hold on, where is it? Bodies. There it is. There we go. The only part I don't remember is the gun part. The rest I remember. It was literally the last moment. Makar grabbed yeah. the gun and bolted. That's all it yeah. said. That was the cliffhanger we had. And then uh, Gaius shouted, you little wench. Yep. And that was the end. That was the end of it. That's also why Frog posted that as a quote. <laughs> yeah. Now she remembers. Awesome. Cool. You ready? I am. You Is are. everybody else? I think they are, to be honest. I think, I like I think the first one we're going to... Sorry. I like that question because so often you get the yes, get this go. I, I was going to say, <laughs> there I, you was, go. <laughs> I was pretty sure that it was going to be either Dragon Wolf or Apple being like, yes, just start already. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, let's go. Here we go. Chapter 21. After Macau ran away and Gaius went after her, Amarilla sized up Emmett. She wasn't sure if she could attack him and win as a human, but now that the gun was out of the picture, she debated if she could change into her wolf form. Emmet had already gotten up and was coming closer. Amarilla let out, let out a low growl. An arrow shot through the trees and hit the tree behind Emmet. The distraction gave her enough time to change into a wolf, but the chains appeared to be special. While her clothing ripped up, the chains changed with her. Her whole group, aside from Lunera and Zerfer, came out from beneath, between the trees. <clears throat> it took Theoden and Grodnix two minutes to uh, punch Emmet down and tie him down with rope. Amarilla, now being a wolf, was essentially useless. She could still, uh, still couldn't walk or run with the chains on her legs. She chomped on her shackles as David was looking around to see if Ga Gaius was coming back. Soon after, Maka came running back right into the arms of Theoden, with Gaius on her heels. Amarilla did realize she wasn't carrying the gun anymore. Where is it? Give it back! He was smart enough not to come closer. You won't get away with this. I'll take her back to them. Amarilla, who could barely walk alone, was annoyed at herself that she even changed. If she changed back now, she would be naked, and she couldn't really walk. David tried to get the chains off as the others kept an eye on Gaius. He seemed to realize they wouldn't give his gun back or turn Amarilla over. So he turned away and retreated. Gaius, don't leave me here. Gaius just waved his hand. He didn't care. He disappeared into the trees. Please, please don't kill me. Emmet looked up at Zerfer, who just walked back into the group from the tree line. We're not that kind of people. He was still holding Gaius' gun in his hand. Apparently, Maka had given it to Zerfer at some point. He checked the mechanism and took out all the bullets. 
Oh, you won't get them off. They are dwarf and steel. The elves may, may know what to do with them. Theon said this to David, who was still working on Amrilla's chains. She whimpered softly, causing David to pat her on the head. Here, you take this. I don't know how anyone can operate a firearm anyway. You, who can take apart any gun and put it back together in record time, doesn't understand how a gun works? He, Theoden fumbled to catch it. We should head back, uh, we should probably head back to Lunura. Everyone silently agreed. The group quickly realized that Amarilla wouldn't be able to walk. She tried for a little while, but it slowed everyone down. Can you guys put her over my shoulder? David asked Theoden and Zerfer. Amarilla whimpered again, shaking her head no. You can't walk like this. Uh, when we get to the cart, you can change back or lay in the cart until we get those chains off you. She let out a low growl, but her expression told him that she conceded. He nodded at Zerfer and Theoden, and they lifted her up onto his good shoulder. Amrilla, still pissed off at David, growled, growled at him for a little while. I know you're angry, but you wanted them safe. This was the easiest way. They started to head back to Lunera. Amarilla huffed. David stayed, behind, uh, stayed a little behind the others. And she wasn't sure if that was because he, she was heavy or because he wanted some privacy. Don't huff at me. Lunara and Grotnik were saved and I knew what I could do. She swirled her head to give him a look. Try to stay still a little. My other shoulder hurts when it pulls too much. She made a few mocking high-pitched yowls to indicate he was being dramatic and then barked softly. I knew what to do, Amarilla. She huffed again, hanging her head down and feeling useless. This was the second time in a matter of hours she was dangling across someone's shoulder. Makar, if, if she has enough energy, she can spin images in people's minds, right? I was going to give my energy so she could scare the men away, but then a thought occurred to me. Maybe she could be invisible to them. When I put the idea up, she instantly agreed. But no one would allow me to give my energy. Eventually, Lanera offered she wanted to stay with her horse. We couldn't be quick in the swamp taking the cart with us. I knew we could get you back. Amarilla had known, when he had put a hand on her back, that she could trust his judgment. When he handed her over to the hunter, she knew there had to be something brewing in his head. She felt betrayed anyway. She stopped making noises, disgruntled that she had to be carried around like a sack of potatoes again, and still felt a little upset with her friend. When they arrived back at the cart, and Lunera, uh, the cart and Lunera, Amarilla got restless. She wanted to jump off David's shoulder, but remembered that when she moved, it caused him more pain. Gently, she wiggled a little, trying to show him that she wanted off his shoulder. David went down on one knee and gently put her paws on the forest floor. Lunera came running up to them. Are you all right? She was shocked and worried. Amarilla slowly nodded her head. Why didn't you guys take off these shackles? We can't. We tried. Regardless, Lunara checked the chains and tried to take them off Amarilla. She, too, had to eventually give up. Amarilla softly whimpered and looked up at the cart, and then she looked back to Lunara. What is it? I think she wants to turn back to human. She doesn't have her clothing. As usual, David read Amarilla perfectly. She slowed, uh, slowly nodded her head again. I'll, I'll grab your cloak. Uh, Lunera hopped up. The others had sat down around the cart, especially David looked a little tired. He did just carry her for about an hour. Lunera placed the cloak over Amarilla and she turned back to human. Are, are you okay? She asked. Did they hurt you? I'm fine. What happened to you? Uh, I'm okay. These chains are something else though. I can't get them off in any way. Her hands were bound together, while her legs were shackled with a chain. Can you get, help me get dressed in some way? Lunera put up a finger and went back to her cart. She came back with a long dress. She helped Amarilla step into the top of it and helped her by pulling up the fabric. It was then that Amarilla realized why Lunera chose this dress. There were two long strips of fabric that would wrap around her neck, so she wouldn't have to put her arms through anything, which was impossible with her hands bound. 
Thank you. She let herself fall forward and gave Lunara an awkward hug. Lunara gently patted her on the back and helped her put the cloak on. It was becoming dark and colder slowly. They would have to sleep at the edge of the swamp for one more night. During the night, instead of having one guard, they decided to have dual guards. That might be a better idea. David, who would normally have jumped at the chance to guard, actually asked to meditate for longer. Zerfer also wanted to sleep after giving some of his energy and expending on travel. The first guard duty went to Grodnik's and Amarilla. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm just happy to see him again. Who? Buskers, of course, my hammer. He gently stroked the middle and she let out a dry laugh. I'm glad. I'm glad you're both safe. The rest of their guard, they stayed in a comfortable silence. Eventually, they woke up Lunera and Maka to keep guard after them. The girls kept guard until morning, and soon after the sun came up, the group got ready to leave. Getting up was a hassle for Amarilla, but she managed on her own, and so their trek began again. They continued their way to Amarul. Finally, fully out of the swamp, they could see the mountain and what would contain the city of Amarul. So, can you see them yet? Theoden gently nudged David. Ooh. What can he see? Mm. 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 Break time! <laughs> Bar! Bar! <laughs> hey, Cherry! Oh, Cherry! Hello! Sippy, 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 sippy. Yes, thank you so very much, actually. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Those were a lot of words. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a lot of talking in this chapter. Ah, more. <laughs> more. No, not actually a lot of talking, more narration. Yes. A uh, lot of narration. <laughs> narration is all me. <laughs> yeah. Thought the sippy would be a good routine. Yes, thank you so much. Hello. Short cuddle. Short cuddle. <gasps> Footy Jerry. Sure. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> he's, uh, he's hugging too. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. There we go. How's, I mean, how is how was you, Cherry? Or did you want to say hello? I'm sorry. I'm not on camera, so I guess I got to make myself clear yes. in some way. So I guess just shout through. Sure. I mean, oh, that will work. <laughs> you did that for Damien. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> they see that thing uh, that they see. Yes. Oh, my. What may it be? I like that. It's a rhyme. Well done, Vixie. And good. Oh, thing. wow. I like yes. that. Oh, my. What may it be? Oh, uh, that's super clever. <laughs> For some reason, I had a stroke reading that pixie. I mean, now you know. I said it in one go. I didn't even think I would. <laughs> it is actually completely correct, although it is a lot of tea. Yeah. They see that thing that they see. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did it wrong once this time, but in our um, tryout, I did this wrong a million times. The changing chains. <laughs> Oh yeah, the Shackles. change changed to winter. Oh, that's so bad. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Ch -ch <laughs> I had a lot of trouble with that the first time, definitely. There are definitely some things that are just very normal to type and then very hard to say. Yeah, definitely. Like, oh shit, this is actually really difficult to this say. Is tongue twister, how did I come up with this? Yeah. Oh, you didn't even notice what the, while typing it. Not while typing it, no. Definitely not. Fair enough, Fixie. As if I missed uh, the first half. But he, I'll have to go back. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Jerry. I do, do hope you're having fun with uh, Skater Boy. Yeah. Have the best time. Also, uh, she asked how we are doing. So, um, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I'm okay. I'm good. I'm a little hyper, as you can see, because I'm moving around a lot. 
I'm happy about next, uh, happy about previous chapter, excited for next chapter. So I'm definitely good. Definitely, definitely. Oh yeah, you were gonna try and uh, force him to listen in, right, Jerry? <laughs> <laughs> Him to catch up. Oh, that's gonna take a while. <laughs> Hyper, huh? Maybe don't drink the monster. I mean, I can drink, drink a sugary one. That would make it even worse. <laughs> <laughs> that's no choice right now. <laughs> exactly. Can't redeem more sippies. I do have a timer on it, but it shouldn't be out of stock. It should just be a timer. It's drink water. No. <laughs> I will never. If you want to see me gag on stream, I'll drink water. I don't wow. like water. I'll drink bubbly water, water, because for some reason it has a different taste, and everyone can tell me as much as they want that that's not true, but it's definitely true. No, bubbly water definitely has a different taste. I prefer it. It's fucking disgusting. I, I don't... <laughs> I prefer it. I, I, it's still not my favorite, but I prefer it over regular water. So if someone's forcing me to drink water, I'll go for bubbly ones. Definitely. <laughs> Can I donate 10k points for you to drink water right now, Key? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I hate water. Yes, it's very different. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, no, I hate it too. I, I can see why people don't like bubbly water. Don't get me wrong, but I don't see how people like water. I can see you are being neutral to it, but I don't understand how people like it. Depends That's... on the situation. If I'm very, 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 very thirsty and it's ice cold, I can deal with it. Yeah, like if it's but that's a hot day, it. drink cold water. Water sucks. Bubbly water is straight from hell. <laughs> uh, I like surviving. I mean, it bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> It's fair. <laughs> Seven, come on. <laughs> I mean, I water is not like uh, it doesn't have good taste. It doesn't taste right, you know. No, it's. But I mean, I can see people being neutral to it, where they like ah, it's, yeah. it's not a not a taste. I can see why people think that. I don't agree, but I can see why people think that. But I've never had to drink water for. A long period of time and if i did i would put in a little bit of lemonade and then it would yeah, be better be... i can drink water with lemon in it just yeah, like water. squeeze a little lemon in there and that's fine but or cucumber water i actually don't i love cucumber but i don't like it in water oh okay it is, it's a little weird i do like um if you have like a little bit of old, very ripe and very sweet um, watermelon. If you blend that oh. up and then put water through, it's like a lemonade. That's really good. Oh, if you, um, yeah, if you have a melon, uh, or if, if you have a watermelon, uh, Frog can attest to this. Frog, remember the mucus melon? Oh boy. That was not okay. Oh boy. Do I want to know? I hope he answers. Vimto is the best man. Cherry. <laughs> Vimto. Oh, God. <laughs> the mucus melon. <laughs> yeah, I was fucked. I was cursed. So it was a watermelon um, that we tried to take out of the packaging. And I don't remember what happened to it, hmm. but it was uh, slimy. Oh, that, that's decomposing. Okay. Yeah. Now, it, it, it also smelled a little bit like... Uh, it, it, it's either the fermentation... <laughs> It's, it's either a fermentation process that makes things slimy or uh, decomposing. Both of them okay. will, will make things slimy. It's okay. more well, it, was, it was definitely a mucus melon. Um, it was not okay. Scared to grab the watermelon. I just bought that. Yeah, fair. <laughs> Very fair. Well, make sure if it's, if it's mucus, don't eat it. Good point. Mm, well, I mean, that, that goes for anything, right? <laughs> if it's mucus, don't eat it. I I think the only one that needs to hear that line is Frog, because he's like, oh, mucus! <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. For Frog, yeah. it depends on what kind of mucus it is. Yeah, that's fair. How dare! How dare! <laughs> also, also, yes. yes. <laughs> 
stuff like that just makes me gag. Yeah, fair. Fair enough. I mean, I've had it where I accidentally left something that should have been thrown out, uh, like mm-hmm. normal dinner things that became slimy. And then you're like, should I just throw away the entire pan? I think this is a good idea. Let's just throw away the pan. <laughs> it's like, I'm not going to be able to clean this anymore, eat out of this anymore. Right. <laughs> it's horrifying. It's like with mushrooms, like normal people would go and eat no other mushrooms than the things you can buy in a store. Yeah. And then there are some who can pick mushrooms and just know that it's good. That's the same for mucus. So if you find mucus in a store, you can buy it and you can eat it. And frog is just different like that. And you can eat mucus whenever, just make sure that it's not disgusting mucus. Let's make sure it's not um, mucus that is being made because of decomposing, and then you're fine. Yeah, just don't eat mucus melon. There are a few fermentation processes you can eat. Like fermented yes. soybeans are very slimy. Fermented soybeans are to me, natto. they Yeah, to me they sound disgusting. But also, they are edible. So if you really want to, go for those. Yeah, gonna yeah, draw that like... now of mucus melon. I want to see that in the museum, please. Awesome. I'm just not so gonna just eat the frog. Roll. <laughs> just don't eat the frog. You can bite him. <laughs> you can bite him, but not eat him. Oh, he would love. He would love that. I have no doubt. <laughs> He'd bite back. What? <laughs> Maybe. Depends on the situation. Frog fruit gummies. Yes. You can eat <laughs> Keep it PG. Why? <laughs> we already know all of these people reside in the horny gel. Do we really need to keep it PG? <laughs> Snack that bites back. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh man. Bonk. Yes, there you go. <laughs> I bite harder. <laughs> you also have three cats that might start to devour. <laughs> oh, they are into mucus as well? No, who knows? They might just oh. bite because they are protecting their lady. Right. You never know. I mean, Sticker would never do that for me, but her cats might. Oh, sticker, that's sticker. talking about the cat. There you go. Let's see where it went. Okay, into the mucus. Jump! Oh, well done. Skater boy wants to see the sticker. Oh, there you go. Did you get it again? <laughs> Thicker. Full screen. Eating my fingers. Of course. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why am I getting bonked? Because you always are, Dragon Don't worry about it. Oh, there you go. Dragon Wolf. I don't know, man. Why are you always getting bonked? You just have a very bonkable head. <laughs> it's a very bonkable brain. Aww. <laughs> At this point, now it's a kink. Mm. You're just oh, making people well. scared to, to do it again. You're all lewd for bonking me. We know your mind goes no. places it shouldn't go. Yeah, exactly. I'm innocent. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> you're funny, Dragon Wolf. <laughs> sure, sure, right. right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> innocent, uh huh. Yeah. Innocent until proven guilty? No, no, no. It's the other way around in this case. <laughs> Unless specified otherwise. Mm. Dragon Wolf is <laughs> Dragon Wolf is horny unless specified otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't remember when it was, but in a stream somewhere recently, he called me mistress. So, oh, that was Sherry's stream on the Monster Prom one. <laughs> yep. I don't even remember why, but there you go. <laughs> Because you made the uh, the the voice for the spider lady. He just, just laid down like completely. He's like, I'm, I'm good. And also, you mentioned that you were going to whip him, so... 
I will whip him. I mean, and I said that afterwards. I, I, that was my reaction to him. I guess so, but still. It does <laughs> make it better. I've called you a queen in the end before as a joke, so... um. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty, look at this. DW into masochism? Uh, maybe. Ow. Whip him real good. Be nice. Be nice. He's, like, gearing to attack me. Don't. Be nice. Like, give me a treat, then I'll be nice. Let's see if I can do this. Hello. There you go. I have to t tilt my entire screen to do that, so that's why it's a little janky <laughs> if I change my yeah. view. Sticker, can you move? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there we go. I have my desk back. <laughs> Nice. He does like getting bonked all the time. If he didn't mm -hmm. like it, he could just stop mentioning lewd things. It's, so, it's that easy. It's not that easy. <laughs> well, the answer is no. The answer to your question will be no. <laughs> it's all you get. It's just a no. no. Exactly. Bonk, 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 bonk. <laughs> No, I've noticed. You've also like made it so that I don't know how to not sometimes. I've it's made, contagious. I've made more lewd comments since I've known you for sure. <laughs> it's contagious. Funny. Yes, it is. The lewdness is contagious. I mean, I could kind of see Dragon Wolf now going like, yeah, but you talked to Holy a bunch. It's his fault. <laughs> now you're putting words in his, in his mouth. Spread the virus. No, don't. It's exactly what we're trying to prevent. No hugging. That's what vaccines are for, you dip. Keep on your mask. Yeah. If you just keep on a mask, stay uh, six feet away and then shout harder. Uh, or shout louder. Shout harder is also a thing you can shout. I mean, why not, right? It's you know, mood. this is also the reason um, why I chose the whip. I can do that from six feet away. It depends on the size of the whip. I mean, I would go for a long one, right? Just a bull whip five meters apart. And <laughs> 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 oh, boy. <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> Starting to think I should have given Surfer a whip. It would have been funny. It could have been like, no, I'll whip you! <laughs> Ooh. No, I like his double knives. So, so good. I am the most innocent person you know. Don't even deny it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you start laughing instantly. <laughs> Cat of nine tails. Oh, man. No, actually, Oof. no. That hurts. <laughs> Cat and nine tails is most innocent. Ugh. Have you seen me? Yes. I am the most innocent, not you. Liar. <laughs> remember I remember the test. <laughs> <laughs> You're worse than me, frog. You're worse than me. Yeah, Momo, you you shouldn't say anything here. You know too much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, you know the stories behind that test. <laughs> hmm. Ooh, Franklin, you're the dipshit. Your score is lower than mine. <laughs> it is on the streets. <laughs> Kinky in the shit. Whoop. I know. I never denied it. I didn't deny my score. I just denied that I was lewd. That's all. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Yeah. I know I'm innocent. I never claim to be, though. <laughs> fair. Yeah, That's true. Fair. <laughs> well, shall we get on with the lovely people in the story? Do you guys want to know what is going to happen next? 
What did they see? What did they see? Yeah, exactly. I think I'm more innocent, at least before I. You think you guys? Would, you think you guys would uh, be able to guess? Oh, no guess. Ah, I wonder. Oh. Yeah. You guys want to guess what they are seeing? What could they what, be seeing? What do they see? What do you think? For God's sake! <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna stall. So there you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you make mm -hmm. them excited, and then we're gonna stall. <laughs> What do you guys think? What what do they see? Little hearts. More story. <laughs> yes, Jerry. <laughs> Apparently so. Hmm. Hmm, what might they see? Maybe it's the sea? We have mentioned where they are going. They are going to see a city. Which is called yep. Emerald. And I do believe we've told what type of terrain that might be. <gasps> Thank you, Frank! Woo! Thank you so much! Oh, well, yeah. Hell oh, yeah, indeed. Puggies. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Much love. Awesome. You get a free hug from the top. <gasps> He's green after all, so it's like a frog. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Hi. Now you get to use the emojis that you made. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Worth. <laughs> Aw, thank you so much, Momo. Hey. No, now Momo is also going to get. No, actually, I have a better, better hug for Momo. One second. Sticker looking like a king in the background. Yeah. Momo gets the better hug. She gets the, 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 the Ori and, and Totoro. The better hug? Because she made them. They're nice and soft. It's, it's, a better. it's a different hug. It's actually, yes, you're right. But for her, this is better. And then for Frog, the other one was better. And to be fair, I cuddled the taco a lot. A lot. Yeah. A lot. Too much. Yes. <laughs> Never mind, this is good. <laughs> I love the taco, actually. I love the taco. I mean, I'm pretty sure by now, Apple knows how much I love the taco because I've mentioned several times that I hadn't let it go since I got it. Yeah. Which is very true. <laughs> I'm ridiculous and I love it and I don't care because I love it. Oh, good. Yes. They are very cute. Three hours okay, later, yes. I'll because no one has guessed what the thing is that they see. Come on, guys. Try. Also, did I miss any chats? <laughs> I may have missed some oh. chats. Sticker looking like a king in the background. Yeah, I missed that, actually. I'll oh, stab yes, them back into shape. I'm glad you know, Apple. You that know, sounds like torture. Them. Yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, <laughs> it does sound like torture. Cute, but concerning, sweetie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they see fairies, they see frogs, mm -hmm. a big gate with elves in front of it, a dragon. Oh, that would be cool. They see, they elves. see elves. They see and an angle. What kind of of angle, an acute <laughs> or a... <laughs> it's a cute angle. <laughs> I mean, isn't the gate comprised of angles? So that's the same answer, right? <laughs> Everything is comprised of angles. The <laughs> <Cutie. laughs> Cutie. Naughty dragon wolves. Naughty dragon wolves. Bobbin the, Bobbin the goblin. goblin. Well, so far, you've given us a lot of uh, new inspiration. Thank you. Um, <laughs> none of yes. the above. Shall we continue? <laughs> I mean, none of the above, but one came close. One was very close. Mm. Well, two were very close. Two? Yeah. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Statues. All right. Let's, let's, let's get into it. Let's just tell you guys. Hashtag free content. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 22. 
Instead of answering Theoden's question, David looked around the mountain range. It wasn't long before he noticed what the elf was trying to ask. Yes, I see the flags. Fairly good eyesight then. So that's where we need to go. They moved slow. It took them an hour to reach the base of the mountain. Amarilla walked carefully, but a rock slipped underneath her foot, and because of the limited space, she couldn't compensate. She fell on her side. Quickly, she scrambled up and shuffled to keep closer, uh, to shuffled quicker to keep up with the group. I've made some space for you in the cart, Lunera said, slowing her step to walk next to Amarilla. I'm fine. It would make it easier on you. I'm not going to let your horse haul me all over the place. I can walk. No, the horse has no trouble carrying you. He doesn't have to. It would take strain off of you. You're bound. You've fallen twice already. <sighs> Fine. Finally, now we can pick up our speed again. Amarilla couldn't contain the little growl that left her lips, but she allowed Zerfa to pick her up and place her into the cart. She hated to admit it, but Theoden was right. The journey definitely progressed quicker with her in the cart, even with Emmet in tow. Camp's frozen? Wait, what? Oops. Let me go back. Camp's frozen? What do you mean? I see myself moving. It is frozen. It oh. is frozen? It is very stuttery, I guess. That's weird. It seems very laggy, yes. I have only 0.6% stream drops, it's not much. I don't Can you guys hear me normally? Sorry? I don't think it's frame drops, I think your camera is just not happy. And I can do this, see my computer likes that more. Because it got quite hot. Uh, now I don't know if people can hear the fan. Sound is fine. Okay, good. Yeah, that's for what I asked. But now I need to know if they can hear the fan as well. Mm -hmm. You are moving again in your camera. Yeah, I'm still moving up and down so you guys can see it. Mm -hmm. I guess my computer just didn't like the heat, because it is actually quite warm. I don't hear it or an echo bit. Okay. Then I yeah. hope it won't be annoying, but I'll leave it on then. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks, guys. I will uh, continue to the next slide. <laughs> Climbing up uh, their way up towards the entrance gate to Emerald, the group became silent. So much had happened, and Theoden had warned them that Amarul was hard to get into. They were nervous. Had this journey been for nothing? As they followed a barely visible path up the mountain, Amarilla noticed an elves at the gate becoming restless. It made her restless too. The large, impressive iron gate, hewn in the middle of the mountain, only accompanied by two flags, nearly invisible to, the hu uh, to humans from any distance away. It wasn't an inviting place, looking at it from the outside. Near the end of the afternoon, they reached the gate. Before they even had time to ask the guards anything, the gate was opened. Impressive metallic creaks and groans were heard. The metal disappeared into the mountain. Amarilla was sure that some use magic was used uh, to open, uh, operate the gate. They barely had to stop their stride. By the time they reached it, the metal had disappeared and they were met with guards, archers, spellcasters, impressive men and women that clearly knew how to keep the city safe. All guards they could see close by came hurrying towards them. For a moment, Amarilla and her companions became nervous, but then the guards bowed. Some of them muttered a soft welcome or elvish words. We have come. <laughs> Before he could continue, they saw an elf hurrying over to them. She was dressed impeccably. Prince Rhea, then my liege, I offer my sincerest welcomes to it, to, into our humble city. She had a clear voice and accompanied it, by, accompanied it by a deep bow. You have been cordially invited to the palace of her duchess, the Lady Fenatrix. Theoden slowly nodded his head. Of course, your entourage is welcome to accompany us. 
The lackey waved towards the city with a flourish and proceeded ahead of them to show them the way. <clears throat> we have apprehended this delinquent for kidnapping our friend and would like him to have him detained. Um, he pointed towards Emmet, who was looking up with puppy dog eyes. Of course, Prince Theoden, we shall take him away at once. The lackey bowed deep again and then waved to some guards to take hold of Emmet. <clears throat> As they walked further into the mountain, through a stone tunnel, they were met with a completely different world on the other side. From the small tunnel, they walked into the biggest open space, a huge valley right on the other side of the mountain range. Where the outside had looked barren and cold, the valley was green with flower fields and trees thrown about. Small clusters of wooden houses led into a larger city hewn in the opposite wall. Most houses were partly inside the mountain, a stone bridge spanned the length between the gate and the large city ahead of them. Everything blended into each other beautifully. It could have been a painting. The lackey led them across the bridge, straight towards the biggest structure on the mountain. While they had to climb to get there, they didn't feel like they were putting more effort into the journey. They finally made it into Emerald. They crossed a big square and small rivers running down, like, uh, down the mountain, guided by... Uh, Elven made banks, flanking them on either side. They ran into the valley below, where it maintained the nature still living there. You're a prince? He was clearly unable to hold his questions. Didn't I tell you my dad was an important man? <clears throat> he just shrugged his shoulder. Yes, but a, a prince? Your dad is the king? Theoden shrugged again. Amarilla could see that he uh, didn't see it as important at all. Surfer shook his head and decided to leave it there. Not long after that, the lackey led them into the grand building, the palace. Two stable boys took the horse off Lunara's hands, <clears throat> and Amarilla was helped out of the cart to be guided in with the help of Surfer. I'm going to take a sip and put my throat. <laughs> And yes, Cherry, we made your character a prince. I saw that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Through the grand hallways, they were led towards a study. The Duchess Venetrix was waiting for them. My lady Venetrix, your company has arrived. The lackey bowed deep, waved her arms towards Theoden and the group. Ah, uh, fantastic. Uh, prince Theoden, to what do I owe this ple uh, the pleasure of your visit? Everyone but Theoden bowed at the first sight of the Duchess. Come now, sit with me. No need for regal manners in my own study. Lady Venetrix motioned her arm to the table and went to sit in one of the chairs. Even though the Duchess spoke in a very royal tone, she didn't seem to see herself of higher class than the group, which could very well be considered peasants to her. We have come to visit a citizen of yours, my lady. As I've been told by one of my companions, Amarilla, she works in your royal library. Um, uh, I yell, Amarilla added, a little insecure if she would be speaking out of line. Ah, uh, yes, a lovely lady, isn't she? The Duchess gave Amarilla a heartwarming smile. I yeah, yes, she is. I haven't seen her in a while. Oh, that just won't do, would it? Friendship and companionship are one of our most... Some of the most important things in life, as far as I'm concerned. I will get an escort to the Royal City, uh, Royal Library for you and your friends. The Duchess was mainly talking to Amarilla. She looked over Amarilla, who felt really insecure, especially still being in her chains. The Duchess waved, her, uh, waved at her lackey and pointed at Amarilla. Get her out of these things. Thank you. We didn't know how to get them off. The rest of the party was merely just sitting there, without all that much to say. Even Theoden was silent throughout the conversation of Amarilla and the Duchess. Thank you ever so much, graceful Duchess. He interjected, unable to feel neglected any longer. We shall follow that escort right away. The Duchess took one last sip of her tea, as the escort entered the room with another elf. The second elf came up to Amarilla immediately. Magic flowed when his hands touched the metal of the chains, and suddenly they just dropped to the floor. Theoden and his companions stood up and started to follow the escort out of the study of Duchess Venetrix. 
Almost at the door, Amarilla turned around and made one last bow before joining with the group once more. Moving through the city, they saw a lot of elves. Some of them would stand and stare at them for a while, others would ignore them completely, but all they saw were elves, no creatures of any other kind. Seeing more of the city wasn't a punishment, they were in awe of the wonders. Building, uh, buildings built straight into the stone of the mountains were made to look like they belonged. Trees grew wherever they wanted, but never seemed to be in the way. Lush greenery was still a prevalent part of the city, integrated even. Soon they came up on the Royal Library. I hope you enjoy your stay. If you need anything, I will be waiting outside. Theoden nodded curtly. He didn't particularly seem to enjoy the attention that was put on him. They walked into the library and saw rows upon rows of books. The main area of the library was one large atrium, an open space spanned by only bridges, connecting balconies with walls of books. On the main level, uh, there were several large tables with comfortable chairs to work at. A young-looking elf walked up to them and bowed slightly. My name is Shayran. I've been informed of your arrival. How, how may we assist you today? We would like to speak to Ayel, please. And if I may, I'd like to look up some books. He added just before Shayran walked away. Certainly. She sped off in search of Ayel, leaving the group standing close to the first table. Amarilla, is that you? They suddenly heard a voice from above. Amarilla looked up to see Ayel standing on the first balcony. Ayel, I'm so happy to see you. David couldn't recall her smiling that brightly in all the time they had known each other. Let me come down. She was already speeding off towards the stairs. As she left the stairs behind her, Amarilla took a moment to take in the appearance of her friend. Long auburn hair and bright green eyes, such a slender girl. But she lo looks could be deceiving, because by her count, Amarilla was sure that her friend was at least 300 years old. I was more reserved than Amarilla, so when she came up to the group, she was quiet and bowed slightly. Amarilla, however, rushed forward to close the last steps between them and hugged her friend tight. I've missed you. Amarilla. The name was a comfort coming from the elf. Her voice changed. Amarilla? Who... Why are you traveling with an angel? Amarilla let go of Ayel and looked back at David. How did you know? I can smell it on you. Why are you here? How did you get here? Is there something wrong up... Please, calm down. Her questions became quicker. I have so much to ask you. We have time. Let's sit down. They did just that. Ayel chose the last table, far from the exit, and soon Shiran came back to them. I see you've already found them. Can I get you anything? If you could pour us all some drinks, that would be lovely. Thank you. Another little bow from Shiran, and off she went again. So please, tell me why you are on Earth. Her green eyes bore into David's purple ones. And after a little silence, David spoke up, a little nervously. I... I was exiled from my realm, but I can't recall why. I somehow just woke up in an alley in Regal. I felt that I'd be a tar with my wings exposed, so I got myself some clothes and have been living on the streets for years now. Getting into this world society as a volunteer in an animal shelter. That's where I found Amarilla, too. You should head back. Angels are never meant to stay on Earth for long, as far as I know. I can't, like I said. I've been exiled. I have no way to get back either. Exile? Hmm. Where's your halo? I have very, re very little recollection of it. But I think I, it was taken before I found myself on Earth. He scratched his beard a little uncomfortably. I've met an angel once. Um, I all said as Sharan came back with several beverages and a plate of cookies. They have been sent here many years ago. I was such a young girl back then. I believe you are being tested. I think you need to reclaim your halo. But how, how would I even... Where do I start? You fly back. You can ask them, right? I... No, I can't. I can't fly. 
I mean, that's easy. She can teach you. Ayal said smiling, pointing at Amarilla. Smiley Wolf! Ha! <laughs> Chapter end! So what would you guys think? <laughs> 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 Please no murder yet. Not until I put the next one out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hate me. Ah. <laughs> She's in there, finally. <laughs> yeah. We finally have the apple. Please. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> You're yes. a, friend of a, prin a friend of a prince, yeah. <laughs> but Such a red bastard. I think you're going to be in trouble when you end the stream, Holy. <laughs> oh, I think so. <laughs> like, show me that document. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you sad? Momo? Why are you sad? <laughs> because it's because it's it's a cliffhanger again. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> Just a little. Mm. So yeah, Cherry is a prince. Apparently. <laughs> the city of Emerald is beautiful. Yes. The library is amazing. I was I was gonna uh, look through it. Ayel is in the story. Yeah. Eden is a prince. And yes, that is noticeable. Prince Tyrion, welcome. <laughs> yes. Biggest reveals in the this story so far? Sorry? I think this is also the the biggest reveal in all of the story. So far. I mean, uh, yeah, especially definitely. ending on it. She's she's a wolf, right? Yeah, she's a human and a wolf. How could she fly? I told in last stream I didn't mind cliffhangers, but this one. <laughs> I'm still looking through all of the old things that were said. <laughs> Sorry, mom. I wasn't narrating, so I had the time to catch up on those. <laughs> Holy souls, prepare to die. <laughs> prepare to die. Sorry, guys. I mean... Uh, no <laughs> no <Maybe>. comments. <laughs> Maybe, Momo. Maybe. I mean, that's the thing, right? It's, it's someone else saying something like that. Who knows? Yeah. We don't know. She doesn't know. They don't know. Umbrella is a risically shapeshifter, confirmed. <laughs> all, all of the above, no comment. All of the above, yeah. and no comment. Can't say anything. She's no. come back next time. Considers the possibility of her being able to shift into more than just the wolf. No comment. I'm hyper. Yeah, that because she you become, become a frog. frog. <laughs> no comment. Man. Frog confirmed. No comment. It's all no comment. We're not gonna say anything until next time. You guys yep. will just have to be there and watch or listen or both. Both is good. What do you mean, Momo? I'm <laughs> real final form frog. <laughs> You guys are gonna have to wait. You guys yep. are gonna have to wait. It's all no comment. We won't say anything. It's classified so information. Mean. So mean. I know. Pushes? Pushes? That doesn't clarify anything more. <laughs> Bishes. Oh. Jerk. Three weeks of waiting. Based on no comments, her final form is a no form. Whoa. Puddle. Mm. I want it now! <laughs> becomes Puddle. <laughs> X-Angel Walk or something. Ooh. Oh. I mean, hey, like, we can't say if anything of this is right, but we may use the incorrect ideas. <laughs> Who knows? And some of it has already been written. Not a lot. Exactly. 
We're gonna and have to do another session together. Yeah. <laughs> have a full night of just writing. I think that's uh, a very fun idea. I think that's a very fun idea. It's, I think it's also the most fruitful. Yes. Because I mean, we we did so much. When when after the start, have you written one and a half chapters in one night, <laughs> right? Uh, all the way at the start, yeah. So the first ten chapters were done easily. Yeah, and then yeah. it became harder, and it was like oh, bits and bits here and there. Oh, Dragon Wolf is expanding even. Mm. Maybe Amarilla is also an exiled angel with shape-shifting powers, meaning the V might also have shape-shifting abilities. Ooh. No comment. That sounds awesome. Frog is drawing on the PC, uses a symmetry thing, draws peep peeps. <laughs> like the, the, the... what? No, I... The, Hmm. I think he's just drawing dicks. Yeah. I was gonna make a joke and then I realized it wasn't funny and then I stopped. <laughs> Hence the movement of small. <laughs> ah. Heck. Heck. <laughs> I thought you were drawing a watermelon that was mucus. Yeah, mucus melon. Mucus melon. <laughs> oh wow, I have over 10 messages on Discord and I just noticed. I never have that They're all threats. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> oh, instantly be like, hey, by the way, I'm gonna murder you because cliffhanger. I know where you live. Give <laughs> us more. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna come by, just eat the brownies and go away again. Give me a hug if you can. <laughs> <laughs> or Amarilla used to be an evil thing that the angel clan David is part of banished and removed her memories only to let her think she is used to be uh, used to be a wolf when she woke up. Also a very interesting theory. I agree with Apple there. Dude, you have so many cool ideas. <laughs> <laughs> might have to do this That's again awesome. after this. After after you and I made this story, we might have to just yoink Dragon Wolf in there and make another one. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Really? I'd be down. Well. No, 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 not hiring. Just you, you're just gonna have to cooperate. <laughs> well, that sounds like an idea. I don't know yet. I, I mean, I can't give you an answer. Let's finish this one first. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Start writing your story. I want to read it. <laughs> there you go. Just drag Wolf's head cannon. <laughs> She's like, maybe that will happen before three weeks is over. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's that's why I'm like pulling you in. Yeah. I can use the ideas right now. Although this story is sort of almost set in stone. We kind of yeah. know where we're going. We have a, uh, we have a little more than a general direction. Yes. Oh, we have an ending. We know almost where it's going to end. Not yeah, yet also, completely uh, how, but we do know where we're going. Yeah. Angelic things. Why are you being cutesy, Momo? <laughs> but another story after this one sounds like a great plan. And then you're going to have to help me too, Apple, because you're very good at this too. Everyone's going to have to help me. Cha la 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 la! Not giving you any more unread messages. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. I mean, it stops at nine plus, so I don't know how many there are. I'm not gonna. At least it. nine. At least nine. Well, at least ten, I think. Well, I'm late. Yes, you are, know. Dom. Yes, you are. Yo, Dom. Deal. Welcome. Hell yeah. Deal. Nice. I'd love. Welcome that. either way. Yes. Anything for more stories. Thank you so much for coming by. Yeah. How are you? I haven't seen you in a little bit. Anything for more stories? I mean, I'd love to be able to. Discord, you bish. <laughs> <laughs> What's it doing? It's not sending you more messages, I think. 
or it's not making your notification bubble bigger. Oh, that's fair and true. Oh my god. I have 50 messages in one chat, one in another, one in another, and an H from Momo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Momo. <laughs> I mean, I think I'm going to do something similar as I have done this time. But this time it was like a, a surprise to everyone beforehand. I think in another one, I, I'm going to have more help. More people help me. I think that sounds like a better plan, yeah. But I do want this one to stay just us, because I'm like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and maybe Apple, if you can't help me. <laughs> yeah. But that's just because, like, yeah, it's mostly her character that we now have to develop. So if you don't know, yeah. I'm just going to go to yeah, her. I mean, there, are, there are also, like, questions to creators of characters to ask throughout, mm -hmm. like, what would they do? Definitely. That, I mean, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I'm not in a different location. I've been in this house ever since I started streaming. Yep. Also, I'm usually um, there in the little bubble. Instead of yeah. in the big bubble. So the background is less obvious. Exactly. But as far as I know, it's all the same. I don't think it is. No, yeah. Now you can see more from the background. True, but I so don't think you it's can different. See the cat tower, so it looks different. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and that's okay. That's that's no problem. <laughs> you're, so you're, are in we safe, all. you're in a safe space. This is filled for the, the entire chat is filled with the idiot squad, and then there's Holy, which is in, in color Hello. With me. <laughs> And I'm the supervisor, so you're in a you're in a safe space. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm the I'm the owner of the idiot squad, <laughs> the front runner of idiot squad. Yep. The biggest idiot. That is me. I mean, you share a brain cell with frogs, so you guys are at first place together. No. <laughs> safe space, really? Probably. <laughs> I hope you guys like this. Um, by the way, I, I do want to note, when we were writing this chapter, um, when we meet IL for the first time, <laughs> I had a different idea in mind at first, and I told Holly about it. <laughs> we laughed about it for a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, so there was, um, in the story, there's a moment where, uh, Ayel says, oh, let me come down. And the original idea was her to just jump down. Yeet. And um, so we, we mentioned that just drop off of a balcony. Yeet. <laughs> but then we realized she's really reserved, so she wouldn't do that. And then we made it more yeah. well, like plausible, but it was funny. <laughs> And then through rehearsal, I started laughing because I was thinking about just, oh, let me come down. <laughs> Jump. And just drop down. I mean, she would land it perfectly. Yeah, but she would drop. Like, gracefully, even. She's an elf, after all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't leave me out, homie. You're not, you're not left out. You're in the idiot squad. Don't worry about it. I ain't got brain cells, can't help there. <laughs> I mean, I sometimes think I don't have any, and then they say stuff, and I'm like, I do, they don't. <laughs> yeah. And then there's other times where I'm like, wait, math? Magic. And then there's times where I think, oh, I may actually have brain cells, and then I get... <laughs> I get... Um, this. I get... <laughs> you just lose your words. words. Yep. Don't I pretend. The case of, uh, Don't pretend the like case you're dumb. <laughs> you brought me here. Excuse me. 
We came together, dip. I, I will have to admit that I found Frog first. The idiot squad? Yeah, that happened um, because I mentioned it at some point. The goon squad. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. The goon squad on the other hand. The, welcome, welcome to the, the team, Frog. We're front runners together now. <laughs> Oh boy, you guys are the best. I love you guys. We are the dumbest. Hello. Hello. It's me. In the meantime, you can solve math problems where I, I need like your help to get through it. Yes. Yes. Maths. I'm a math magician. I've been an idiot and a goon with these people for over four years. <laughs> Over four years? You guys have known each other for six or seven, right? Seven years. You merely adopted the goon. I was born in it, molded by it. Well, we've known each other for seven years, Frog, so... I think I've been a goon for a little longer than what you claim me for. I love this. I am, however, in the meantime, going to check if we have anyone to raid. I don't. I don't think I do either, but hey, I can check. I can check. Ah. Aww, yes. that's cute, though. That's so cute! <laughs> <laughs> Holy, you and Frog are the first goon and idiot generation. There you go. Yes! I also don't have anyone. Um, we are ancestor goons. goons. <laughs> <laughs> it all started with you guys. I, I, I have no one to read. No nope. one. It's a calm Sunday, apparently, guys. Yeah. Ah, oh, she screamed for taking her phone back. That's adorable, <laughs> though. That's adorable. I don't remember what she's called, otherwise I'd say hi. I have only seen her once. On the screen. How much should yeah. bet the moment we go offline, some people are going to come online? Definitely. About 15 minutes. Oh, de or a half an hour, probably. A half an hour. Pretty sure that will happen because it has happened before. Yes, definitely. It, it, excuse me. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Um, it has happened to you a lot where you're like, oh, who am I going to raid? And then we were in call afterwards. And it's like, oh, this person is live. Oh, this person is live too. Oh, this person is live too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Three in a row. God dang it. It's kind of funny. But hey, if they don't, if they aren't live, yeah. It's, what, I, what am I going to do about it? Right? Yeah. Exactly. Let's just keep talking until 5. Momo gives me the answer straight away. <laughs> <laughs> Which is quite today, TVH. Oh. Yeah, I agree. Wow. I only had Frog and Knight together. And uh, one other person. I think, that's, I think that's it for me. It was quiet yesterday as well. Well, yesterday I was working, so I wouldn't have noticed anyway. Yeah, and uh, yesterday I wasn't streaming, or uh, Erfie wasn't streaming either. Cause, uh, was he streaming? I don't know. I don't know either. I was working, that was my point. At least I wasn't there. No. Um, I don't think he I was, because I would have gotten a notification. Yeah, exactly. I think I would have too. Yeah. And I think I would have remembered. But he wasn't streaming. <laughs> Wait, uh, Oli, are you going to tell me that you suddenly remember things? Sorry. <laughs> depends on the brain cell. Okay. Depends on the brain cell. If I, if I have it, then... Maybe Frog will have more of them. <laughs> oh shit, you got an injury? Dang. What'd you get? What'd you what, get? what happened? Keep talking, please. Why? <laughs> Why? Are you gonna stream? Is Frog gonna stream? Can I just rate one of you guys? I would be 
so happy. Oh, oh, almost done with something for us. I'm curious now. I'll wait. Oh, well, it was drawing penises in symmetry <laughs> mode, so I don't know if I want it. <laughs> I will vet it before I show it on stream then. Tennis elbow. Shit, dude. Uh, how come? Is it from uh, being at your computer a lot? Or actually tennis. I mean... <gasps> he's, he's making Mooka's melon. Oh, nice. Sick. I hope it gets better. Do you, did you get any medication for it, uh, Doc? Or just rest on a certain position. That helps, yeah. Exercise sometimes helps as well. Mm. It depends on what it is. What it, it, yeah, tennis elbow, I don't actually know what it entails. It's basically when you do a repetitive motion for too many times and um, yeah. it, it strains the ligaments. Um, so the uh, way you work, if you were to sit incorrectly at your desk, you could have trouble in your um, shoulder, which is my dad used to have an injury in his shoulder because of that, which is called an uh -huh. edisee injury. And then you can have your uh -huh. tennis elbow and you can also have a thumb. The palm of your thumb can be injured just by your work, what you do. Yeah. Yeah. Those I know the about the uh, carpal tunnel as well. That, that's basically the one here. Yeah. 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 Someday I will stream again. It's just that I don't know when. Uh, already been so long offline that it's hard to stream again. I understand that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you do yeah, ever feel like it, just don't feel weird about it. Just go on and see who is going to be there. If you if you feel like it, go for it. If you don't feel like it, leave exactly. It. Yeah. 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 I do hope you have a quick recovery. I agree with uh, with Vixi. Overworked myself and came home from work, went to pick up my daughter and all the muscles torn in one arm. Oh, man. That hurts. Oh, oh, God. Elbow to the pinky. So this, this side. Oh, Got oh, cream man. in it. Don't help. Hmm. I mean, just the cream, if it's torn, that won't help. If it's just strained, uh, it should be a uh, heat cream that could help. But yeah, uh, usually doesn't help enough. That's fair. It'll help recovery, but yeah. it won't help the pain. Yeah. Definitely hope it gets better soon. Yeah. That sucks, man. Jesus. <laughs> Check the museum. I just found it. How am I going to do this? Oh, my <laughs> God. It's an emo, too. <laughs> nice. I mean, yes. How can I do this? Uh, that one. That That's one. That's awesome. Um, there we go. You can show it. It's supposed to be heat cream. It's called Alcazar. Oh. Yeah. So that's. Uh, if they said it was torn and they gave you heat cream, it's not actually torn. It's just uh, strained yeah. to a very, very painful point. Because if, it, if it's yeah. torn, they have to actually repair it. It's a melon. It's a mucus melon. It's a melon. Yes. It's a watermelon. <laughs> Under understandable, but only do stream if you feel like it. I'm sure uh, if some of us will be there to watch you and you can always ask yeah. someone or two to be there with you just chatting or doing co-op yes Very Hell true. Yeah. yeah definitely absolutely so, especially okay. that first bit if you don't feel like it don't do it exactly but if you do do it <laughs> yeah well guys i am going to quit for today i'm yep. happy to have been able to show this Lovely mucus melon, because I do kind of like it. Hell yeah. Um, but yeah, I uh, I think this was a good one. I think we had a good good time. I had a blast. Yeah. I'll have to ring up tomorrow and tell them pain ain't changing, as uh, it's supposed to and help after seven days, but it ain't. Uh, we're trying to make work so... Blah, that went too fast. <laughs> have to solve search and I'm not sure what that means but I hope I hope it'll be better thank you for stream I love the story thank you Apple thank you guys for all of the emotes that's a lot of emotes that's a lot of emotes thank you thank guys you. 
so much for being here. And Holy, thank you so much for doing this with me again. Thank you for having me again. Every time. I love it. Mm -hmm. And yay, I'm in it. Yay, <laughs> finally. <laughs> Scream from the damned. <laughs> I, uh, I hope you guys have a lovely dinner, a lovely night, lovely day if you're not from around. Uh, yeah, good good end of the weekend, and uh, we will see you next time in three weeks at least. And uh, Holy is going to be streaming on Monday again, guys. Make sure you're there. Mario Monday. Mario Monday. I love it. Some Mario Odyssey. I love it. I'll be there. I'm very hyped uh, for it. <laughs> so, I love yeah. you guys. Hell yeah. Bye. Bye. -bye.